catch We're going to be using some planers today. We're going to be slow trolling some strip baits. We're going to try and catch... The goal is to catch a wahoo and uh, if we're lucky and if not, we'll try and catch some kingfish. So we'll see what we get on. Yeah, let's see what we can get. Okay, so we're going to start trolling planers. This is a 4-6 volt salty planer. So we have this rig here. It's pretty much a sea witch with a skirt double hook rig and then we're going to be trolling some some nice bonita strips. strips. Very simple to hook it, everyone does it differently, but that's how we have it rigged. It's 80 pound test. I hook right here at the end. It goes through. Then right where it ends here. got a an islander head and yeah we're ready we're good to go look at that shine look at that we'll see, shine we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> and on this one the one that we've got the blue one we're gonna be trolling with the number six planer so yeah we'll send them out shortly
guess it ended up being nothing. We just saw this one pop off. Rami's really good. right now and we're at the fillet table and our last two videos we filleted mahi in so right now we're just gonna um fillet the kingfish really quick and we'll yeah. show you guys how to do it so yeah so we have the mahi over here little kingfish nice little king. could uh we caught two more kingfish but unfortunately they were short by about like two inches this one was 20 25 25 26 yeah. to the fork and they have to be 24 so yeah, we this just one was made good, the and the one. other two were were short. But yeah, the other two were like 21. This is 20. a kingfish. Many people don't like them. I think they taste good if you cook them like the day of or day after. We're gonna do, I think, smoked kingfish dip. Yeah, we're that's gonna, gonna see. be so sweet. We're gonna make some kingfish dip, and so you can eat it with pita chips, whatever chips you'd like. I mean, that's our personal favorite. Can't go a day without those. So yes, yeah, we'll yeah. get right into filet. Yeah, keep awesome. There you go. Okay. So since we're gonna be doing um, kingfish dip with this, I'm just gonna fillet it like a normal, like normal. So just gonna make the cuts and then go along the spine, flip it over, do the same on this side. 
go one more time. Now you'll kind of feel the backbone. It has a pretty big spine. So just cut like that. Lift up. And you go down. They're very, very soft and oily fish. You can kind of see how it's like already falling apart. That's one fillet. Looks pretty good. Yeah, it's super nice. Get the other side. Same thing. Cut by the head, by the tail. Run the knife along its backbone. Turn it over. Same thing. The other side's a bit harder always. Let's see, get that going. I flip it over back and forth a lot, but <laughs> you could hear Cutie meowing. Yes, yeah, this is our She's little starting. pescatarian cat we got here. Hey! Yeah. Cutie! And that's that. Okay, and that's that. We got the fillets. Got that kingfish. Nice. See-through. See <laughs> we'll do a little catch and release action. Catch and release. There. You know the drill. He's, he's down there. Swimming away. The I turtles. see. Turtles. We have snapping turtles. I'll yeah, we got some that. crocs in here. And some crocs. So. Gonna munch on these for dinner tonight. We're gonna. Uh, we're actually gonna leave the skin on. So I'm just gonna take out that stomach for the for the smoke. <laughs> just through the little chunk. Oh, might be. <laughs> Let's give this kitty. Kitty. Oh, I can give her this. Again. So that's pretty much it. We have two slabs of kingfish. I'm gonna leave the skin on since we're gonna we're gonna smoke it. I'm just, it's better to leave it on so you could put it side down on the grill, and uh, we'll probably probably do that tomorrow. Yeah. And now we have the mahi that I'll fillet real quick, and that's about it. What's up, guys? Hey, guys. So it's the next day, and we are in the kitchen right now. And we're gonna take that kingfish we got yesterday and gonna cook up some smoked kingfish dip right now. So yeah, let's get started with that recipe. Yeah, let's go. All right guys, so we have the, the kingfish fillets over here and we're just gonna cut them into four pieces so that we can put it in the container and then start brining them. All right, so we're just gonna add some hot water. No, yep, so it's hot. All right, so we have the hot water here, and we're just gonna put in about two fourth cups of salt, one fourth cup of soy, and then we're gonna put some brown sugar. So this one, we're gonna put three fourths. Three now. fourths. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna dissolve everything into this brine that we have here. Once everything's dissolved, we're gonna put the, the kingfish fillets in here and let it soak just for like three to four hours. The longer you do it, you could leave it overnight if you have the time, but we're kinda crunched on time, so we're just gonna leave it for, for four hours and then we'll get to smoking. <laughs> Sure, it's all in there. Yeah. Hey guys, so we're just prepping up the charcoal to, to put in the smoker right now. We have this little device, and pretty much all you do is you get some paper. Usually, newspaper works best, but we'll just use some coffee paper. It's just to ignite the, the charcoal. And we'll just lay them in there. All right, so now that we have the paper in here, we just flip it over. And we're gonna grab our charcoal. Now we put, we only put like three or four and we'll add more as we go, just to heat these pieces of wood up. 
Uh, we're using apple wood smoke. Apple wood wood. <laughs> apple wood. <laughs> Just apple wood. Yeah. And so we'll put that in there, heat it up. We'll light it. You'll see it start to smoke up a lot. That's when you know it's, it's working. And you can see it smoking from the top already. And you'll leave this pretty much for like 20 minutes. You'll see the, the coals turn red, like all, all hot. And then you could pour that into the smoker. Yeah, we're, so over here we have the fish that was brining. As you can see, we'll take it out now. So yeah. what I like to do is I pour, I actually keep the brine to use to smoke it. So I pour it in this tray. and I keep it under the, the actual fish while it's smoking. Just to get the vapors and like the steam, it kind of keeps it, keeps it moist, so. Okay, so nice. now we have the brine under there. We have the charcoal heating up. And we're gonna just do a quick rub on this fish. So we're just gonna be using some salt, paprika, some cayenne powder, and just black brown pepper. So we'll spice them up. So now it's all ready to go into the smoker. So we'll get that going in a second. We put it over there, it was like Circle smoking. <laughs> smoking up this whole area. Yeah, yeah right. look at that flame. Just gonna toss this in here. All right, now we close that. Close it up. And there she blows. <laughs> so we're trying to cook it at a temperature of about 180 to 2, 210. So once it heats up, we'll put the fish, it's gonna heat up really quick. So it's now at 220. And we're gonna just put the fish So the fish is now in there, and we're just gonna leave it there probably for, uh, I don't know, two hours. We'll check on it, and we'll see how it goes. Close her up. Okay, so here's what we the, got? What we got? the smoked kingfish. It looks a little dry from the outside, but that's actually how it's supposed to look. Um, if you touch it, it's like very juicy and like- Yeah, like so soft. Soft looking. inside, Ooh. so. I'm just gonna take it out <laughs> and use the hands. It's not so hot yeah, anymore. Yeah. Separate it from the skin there. Look how easy that was. It just peels off. Two pieces ready. And these are all bones, so. Finished off. Take off all the bones out of the fish. And oh my gosh, look how much we've just eaten. <laughs> While taking off the bones of the fish, it is that That's good just good. as is, like without even making dip. We're like contemplating yeah. here if we should even make dip out of it. Look, he even saved a little piece to snack on. That's for my snack. It's it is good. so good, but yeah, so, 10 out of 10 recommend making this. That was awesome. Gonna tear it apart. Yeah, we're gonna so. mush it up into the bowl and. It, you could either do this in a food processor or by hand. I like it a bit chunkier, so I'm gonna just do it by hand. Yeah, we like to keep it a little on the chunkier side, just because we don't it, we don't want it to seem like we're just eating like a sauce. Like a puree. Like, yeah, like a puree. We'd rather be eating that nice little fish chunks in there. That texture. What you doing? I'm getting on uh, it. <laughs> There we go. So Mushing up that thing. It's all pretty. Yeah, nice and chunky. How we like it. That's ready. Let's get a spoon and start eating. <laughs> Just like this. No dip, no sauce. The mayo. The goods. We got the sour cream, Daisy. You know what's up. And we got the cream cheese. <laughs> so yeah, this is the three main ingredients we're going to be using right now. And then we're going to add in the veggies. Restart, okay, go. Right, so we're gonna do equal parts, mayo, sour cream, and cream cheese. I don't know exact measurements because we're 
everyone has some different amount of fish so we're just gonna eye it and see the consistency that you like so yeah we're just, just gonna, gonna do a little at a time that. see how it goes and then take it from there just so that you don't put too much you don't so you just you can see the think like a spread all right Ooh. perfect yeah go all right, so in the dip, we're gonna be adding some finely chopped celery, a white onion, a jalapeno, and some lemon juice. And we're just gonna finely chop everything, like very, very small, and we're gonna add it to the dip now. And lastly, we are gonna juice this lemon and pour it all into the mix. Lemon juice right in there. Now, time to stir it up. <laughs> look at that. How's it looking? Looking good. This is good. Really? Mm. It better be. <laughs> All right, guys, so it is done and it tastes amazing. We're gonna move into this small container right now and then have it chill in the fridge for like, I don't know, like an hour. Yeah. And then, yeah, we'll get to eating it. Now we're recording. All right, All right guys, we're here with Rami's parents and we're gonna do a little taste test and see how they like our dip. All right, let's see. Tasting. Yummy! This is good. Let's get to it. Mm. It's good, it's good. It's really nice. Alright, Alexi, yeah, gotta try that. Very nice. What does it have? Smoked kingfish with, uh, we have celery, some onion, some lime, lemon A juice. Bit of jalapeno. Yeah. Lemon juice. Nice. Onion, I think. Mm. That's all. Mm -hmm. It tastes so good. Alright. Very good. That's a, that's yeah. a wrap then. That's a wrap. It's 100%. I don't pee. You're right here.